Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Australia. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Tuesday, so it's Case of the Catalogue Day, and today I have a really great card using um, a new bundle. Let me just bring this in. It's on page 28. It is the Amazing Life stamp set with the rectangle, uh, stitched rectangle framelits. It's called the Amazing Life Bundle. This is going to be really popular and these are just absolutely gorgeous. So the card we're making today is this one just up here. And I'm going to bring that in and just quickly show you as well. So these rectangle um, stitched framelits, there is, let me just see, 13 dies. So this is going to be a really great set. And not only do they um, stitch on the inside of the the die they stitch on the outside so your negative image is stitched as well so it's a, a double feature of of the the framelit dies okay so let's get started i'm going to bring you over to the card table okay so the absolute star of this card is obviously this bundle the amazing life stamp set is a 17 piece stamp set i've used it a fair bit already and i will continue to use it because there are so many different options in the stamp set it's a great little stamp set so we've got that one and we've also got the rectangle stitched framelits and with today's card we are using the third smallest in that larger group so this one here so how great there's so many different options that we can do i just hope that they bring out this sort of style for all of them The colours for this card we're using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and also Petal Pink. We have some uh, linen thread and we're colouring in these beautiful little flowers here with the Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends and the Granny Apple Green Stamping Blends. So a bit of colouring today. I have my card kit here as well. And all the measurements and supplies can be found over on my blog, and that's in the description of this video. There is also a link to my online store where you can purchase all your Stamping Up supplies. If you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love to be a demonstrator. And um, if you just pop in the hostess code uh, for the month, and I'll send you out a free gift. Now is also celebrations, and it's the perfect time to join Stamping Up. This is a great deal on at the moment. Head over to my blog. I do have a... Um, a blog post about celebrations and joining stamping up so pop over to that that's in the description of the video as well and there's also a link um, that you can join straight away but if you have any questions please let me know so first off we have a half a sheet of a4 that has been scored in the middle we're just going to fold that one and burnish so we have a whisper white card front and we have a piece of the petal pink that's going to go straight over the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the big shot and we're going to cut that die in the middle there. So let's bring the big shot in and we'll do that first. Just popping that petal pink down and I'm just going to put that die and center it in the middle. like that now before I said that it cuts on the inside and the outside of the die and you can see that there like that so there is stitching on the negative image and then this piece here as well has got stitching as well. We're not going to use this piece. This piece I'll use in another project coming up. So I'm going to bring my card base back in. And I just want to line this up. And then I'm going to use a pencil and just create little lines in here. So I know where that edging is. Now 
There we go. So they're fairly light. I want to be able to rub them out um, when I'm finished. So we're going to bring in the Petal Pink ink pad. And I'm going to stamp all these gorgeous little swirly swirls. I'm not sure what they're called. Filigrees? I'm not sure. This stamp here anyway. So I'm going to line that up so it's in the corner there of where I've placed it. So we're going to do one on that side and then one down the bottom. Just like that. And then I'm going to bring in this piece. Now, we probably should be using the mat under that because it is photopolymer. So I better, now that I've said that, I better do it. And then we're just gonna line these ones up as well and stamp them on every corner. So, so far pretty easy, isn't it? How pretty does that look? And then on top of the card. So it just looks really, really pretty. And we're not going to need the petal pink anymore, but we're going to bring the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink in. And in the middle of the card, so I can take this off again, I'm using that large image of so happy to have you in my life. So I'm going to ink that up. And because it's a large image, I'm going to actually take the stamp pad down onto the stamp. And you're definitely going to need the mat under this. So we're going to pop that down in the middle. Making sure I press down really well. I want to make sure that I get good black image. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to place this over to the side. I'm going to bring in my real red and my petal pink piece in. And on the petal pink piece, we're going to ink up the happy again and stamp that down because we're going to fussy cut that happy out. Beautiful. And then for the real red piece, we want that banner. So to have you in my, let's ink that bin up. And just going to stamp that down. And we have that. The last little bit of stamping is we have a piece of Whisper White here and that cute little flower. We're going to stamp three of those in the Memento ink. And these are the ones that we're going to colour in with the Daffodil Delight and the Granny Apple Green. Okay. I want that to dry just a little before I start colouring them in. So let's bring these pieces in and we're just going to quickly fussy cut them out. Leaving a little bit of a border around. And we're going to pop these up onto our sentiment as well. So there's our banner and let's cut out each of these letters.
Okay, so all that little fussy cutting has been done. Let's bring in the Stampin' Blends and do a quick colour. So I have the light and the dark. I'm going to colour the flower in the light first. I'm just using... Actually, I might use my bullet end. So I've just placed a bit of that light Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blend um, around there. I'm going to bring the darker one in and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring a little bit of that colour, that darker colour, out from the centre. So I've just brought that darker colour from the centre and brought it out a little bit. So there's nothing exciting or, or huge to this colouring. It's quite simple. So let's go with our Granny Apple Green and we're going with the lighter colour first and we're just going to place all that colour down onto our leaves. That one's all done. So let's bring in the darker Granny Apple Green and I'm just going to place some dots in where those dots are. Just to give it a little bit more depth. It's a very simple colouring. And that's how they look once they're done. So let's fussy cut these ones out and we can pop it all, pop the card all together. Okay, so we have all our little pieces together. I'm going to, oh, I've got a little bit of black ink on there. I don't know why, but that's okay. It's going to be covered up. I'm just going to rub out these little marks that I placed there for the edges. Okay, so before we place anything down, I want to put my linen thread that I've got here along the side. So let's just pop him down, put a double knot in there. A nice little bow. Must 
missed a thread. Oh, let's do that again. Okay, Just get rid of some of that excess there. Beautiful. I'm going to pop that up with some dimensional, so let's bring them in now and we'll do that. And you really don't want this to, because it's quite thin and flimsy, I'm going to probably put an overkill of dimensionals around it, but I really don't want it to bend down and bow. So if you're making this card, you can choose yourself if you don't want quite as many around your frame but yeah let's take all those backings off one. I'm going to place this down onto our card. Okay, so it gives it some really nice beautiful dimension. I'm going to bring some mini uh, dimensionals for the banner cap. You can also cut down the normal size if you don't have the minis. I'm sorry if you can hear my belly at the moment. I am so hungry. It's lunch time. Okay, so that's that down. Now I'm just going to, the happy is just going to be glued down with some uh, mono glue. So let's place that all down. Careful not to put too much on, you don't want it leaking out the side. This card comes together quite quickly. It's, it's um, a really nice card that looks like you've done a lot more effort. This stamp set's a really, really great stamp set for that. And the last one. Okay, last off we've just got our little flowers to go down and what I've done is I'm sticking a little bit of Tombow glue on my leaves but then I'm going to stick a full size dimensional on the flower. So take the backing off. Gonna pop that down. Just like that. So the leaf is touching the petal pink, but the flower is down on our white card base. So same for the others. Dimensional on the flower bit. A little bit of Tombow glue. Stick one down here. And the very last flower.
Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this card tutorial using the Amazing Life uh, bundle from the New Occasions catalogue. All the dimensions and the supplies can be found over on my blog, so go over and check that out. And I can't wait to see you again very soon. Okay, have a great day. Bye.